Hi, toy fans! It's Retro Toy Tuesday, and today we're going to take a look at a 90s toy, Mighty Max by Bluebird Toys. These are similar to the Polly Pockets from last week's video, but these were primarily marketed towards boys. Apparently, there was even a Mighty Max television show that I don't remember at all. The Mighty Max toys all included a figure of Max, but he appeared in several different molds. Unlike his counterpart, Polly, Max does not have any articulation. Today we're going to take a look at two of the Mighty Max Doom Zones. The first Doom Zone is the Mighty Max Tangles with the Ape King. This one was actually mine as a kid, and I remember picking it out because it's jungle themed, and I wanted a boy figure to interact with my Polly Pocket world. The back of the playset is marked 1993. The design of these Doom Zones are pretty neat. The outside is the snarling face of the Ape King, complete with bloody teeth and red eyes. This Ape King set has portions of the playset underneath incorporated into the design of the outer shell. As you can see when we open the set, the tops of the two skulls form the ape's eyes, and the back of the gorilla figure is the playset's forehead. Inside the bottom half of the Doom Zone is a large purple snake with coils that Max can fit between. The head of the snake rotates. The skulls on the fence can also rotate. There's a large cooking pot that Max can be dumped into to join the skeletal remains of the previous occupant. A large gorilla guards the front gate, and when you unpeg his foot from the playset, you can see he squished a native. It looks like the native didn't go down without a fight though, because he has some blood dripping from the point of his spear. The upper half of the playset is decorated with some heads on pikes, while well, the floor above has two cages. The jungle vines hinge outward to open the playset even more. Here we can see the witch doctor's hiding place, near some shrunken heads and a platform with canisters. Here's a closer look at the figures included with this doom zone. Max is holding a lantern. The witch doctor is holding a club made out of the skeletal remains of his previous enemies. And the gorilla has articulation at the legs that allow it to stand on two legs or four. Our next doom zone is Mighty Max Outwits the Cyclops, which is also marked 1993. This is a place that I purchased a while back from Goodwill and it's missing the figure of Max. The outside of the Doom Zone is the creepy purple face of the Cyclops. He looks like he might be undead to me, especially with those tentacles, or maybe it's maggots coming out of his mouth. Again, features from inside the playset are incorporated into the outer shell design, such as the horn, eye, and the maggots. To open the playset, you have to first fold down the jaw. The first thing you're probably going to notice is that the Cyclops' eye is actually a giant eyeball monster with long tentacles. This is probably the darkest of the Mighty Max playsets I own. The inside of the Cyclops jaw is some kind of wall of eyeballs, and hiding inside there is an armored purple skin guard. If we lift the eyeball monster up, we notice he was roosting on top of a blue cage. This cage lifts up and we can place Max inside to hang out with the skulls on the floor. Next to the cage is a wooden table with two manacles. On the opposite side of the cage is an Iron Maiden that you can throw Max into. The inside of the lid of the Iron Maiden has raised bumps to depict the spikes. I told you this playset was dark. The final object on the first floor is a cage with a demonic gate. You know what? I, I don't think it's another cage. I think it might be a furnace. The outer edge of the inside is rimmed with stones, and there's skeletons floating on what may be lava. The horn of the Cyclops forms a stairway to the upper floor. There are more skeletons on the lowest level of the upper floor. The middle floor has a workbench with some potions and a guillotine, because, you know, you can't have a workshop without a guillotine, right? <laughs> Behind the guillotine is a sword and an axe. There are stairs leading up from the middle floor to the uppermost floor, which is decorated with a noose. 
There's like a little peg about the noose, so my set may be missing another piece. I'm not sure what the rest of the decorations are on this top floor. There's some silvery looking machinery and a purple thing that might be a chair. The purple thing folds down to reveal more machinery behind it and a golden decoration on the wall. Here's a closer look at the two figures I have that came with this playset. The eyeball monster and the purple skinned armored guard. So, did you have any Mighty Max toys as a kid? If so, which ones? I have a few more of these Mighty Max playsets I can review, so if people enjoy this video, I could show off some of the other sets as well. And that's all the retro toy fun for today, but if you want to see some more older toys, feel free to check out some of my other videos. Also, feel free to subscribe if you'd like to stay updated with my content, and thanks for watching.